This week in science, we are going to be talking about using science tools safely and also the rules of being in a science lab. So why would scientists use these tools? We have a magnifying glass that they might use to look at something small and see it closer up so they can see more detail. A magnet they would use maybe when they're using different types of metal to see which kinds are magnetic or to pick up small things that are metal. And a microscope can also help you to see really tiny things a lot closer up. A terrarium might be used to grow living things or to observe them. A computer can be used for research and for collecting data and storing data. And a balance is used to compare the weight of two different objects. A beaker is a way of measuring liquid. A weather vane is a way of checking to see what, which way the wind is blowing. And an aquarium is used to, for fish and other aquatic animals. Safety goggles are used in a lab to, uh, to protect your eyes. If you're using chemicals or anything else that might get in your eyes, it's important to use safety goggles. A notebook can be used by a scientist to record data, take notes, and write down the research that they're doing. And a thermometer can be used to measure the temperature of lots of different things. A rain gauge can be used by scientists to measure how much rainfall there has been. A stopwatch can be used to measure time during an experiment. A scale can be used to measure the weight of objects and a ruler can be used to measure the length of an object. So which of these would you use to write down information? Would you use safety goggles, a notebook, or a thermometer? You would use a notebook to write down information. Which of these would you use to protect your eyes? Safety goggles, a notebook, or a thermometer? Goggles, you would use those to protect your eyes. Which of these would you use to measure temperature? Goggles, a notebook, or a thermometer? You would use a thermometer to measure temperature. Which of these things would you use to look at things close up? A magnifying glass? a magnet or a terrarium. You would use a magnifying glass to see things close up. Which of these would you use to observe organisms or plants in environments? A magnifying glass, a magnet, or a terrarium. You would use a terrarium to observe organisms or plants in their environment. Which of these would you use to attract iron or steel? magnifying glass, a magnet, or a terrarium. You would use a magnet because iron and steel are magnetic. So anything that has iron or steel in it would stick to a magnet. Which of these would you use to research a topic? A microscope, a computer, or a balance scale? A computer, you can use that to research a topic. Which of these would you use to view things that you cannot see with your eyes? A microscope, a computer, or a balance scale? You would use a microscope. You put something in a little slide and you slide it under the metal clips at the bottom and you can see those things up close, things that you can't even see with your eyes. Which of these would you use to measure mass of objects by balancing them? Mass would mean how much something weighs. You would use the balance for that, the balance scale, and you can compare the mass of objects. Which of these would you use to determine wind direction? A beaker, a ter uh, an aquarium? No, you would use the weather vane. Which of these would you use to watch living organisms? A beaker, a weather vane, or an aquarium? You would use an aquarium. You would fill it with water and put the aquatic organisms in there and you can observe them. Which of these would you use to time how long things take? You would use a stopwatch to measure the time. Which of these would you use to measure the amount of rain? A rain gauge. Which of these would you use to measure distance? A ruler. Which of these would you use to weigh objects? A scale. So the lab rules 
are stay seated unless otherwise directed. Why is this a good rule? If you're working with any kind of chemical or anything else in the lab, it's very important that everyone stays safe. And by staying seated, you can make sure that there are no accidents by bumping into other kids or knocking anything over. So it's important to stay seated. Wear safety goggles at all times. Why is this a good rule? Well, safety goggles protect your eyes. They can protect it from anything you're working with or any accidents that might happen in the lab. Walk to where you are going. Why is this a good rule? It's always safe to walk when you're inside instead of run. And even though you're excited, it's important to keep your walking feet because you don't want to mess anything up in the lab or make anything dangerous for you or your friends. Raise your hand to speak. Why is this a good rule? Well, number one, it's respectful to the other people in the classroom who may also have ideas that they want to share. And that way you can, you never miss any directions or safety instructions. Wear gloves when handling hot objects. Why is this a good rule? It protects your hands. If you're going to touch anything hot, you definitely need to wear gloves to make sure that you don't burn your skin. Listen to all of the directions before starting. Why is this a good rule? You need to know how to do an experiment correctly before you start, because if you miss some of the directions, you may not do it correctly and it could be dangerous. Do not play with lab equipment or materials. Why is this a good rule? The things in a lab are not toys and they can be dangerous if, you, if not used in the correct way. So it's important to not play with them and to only use them as they were intended to be.